A lot of the vocal problems for singers and a lot of solutions to sing better can be found and achieved by better understanding the phonetics, the consonants and the vowels that we're singing. It totally makes sense. I mean, when you're singing songs, you're singing a bunch of words with consonants and vowels. So it might be important to understand better about the phonetics inside your lyrics, okay? And um, it's not only for your lyrics, but it's also for training, as I'm about ready to show you, okay? So I'll tell you what the nay, nay, nay workout is doing for you guys, okay? If nobody's ever told you before. Now, the N in the nay, 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 is a consonant that sits in a family called the nasals, all right? And the nasals have a very powerful mm, healing property to them for public speaking and for singers. Nasals are used to balance vocal fold compression and respiration energy. So imagine you have one energy force here with the vocal folds closing, adducting, and another energy force here of respiration. These two energy forces are going to collide. They're going to strike in the subglottal position in the lower vocal folds in the trachea. Okay? And when they strike, when they collide, in order to make the sound amplify, you want to get these two energy sources to balance. Nasals, N, M, and N, G, mm, are really great for balancing compression and respiration. That's why we use them, okay? That's the purpose. That's the purpose of using an N on the nay, nay, nay. Okay, now the vowel that we're releasing into, the A of the nay, 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 is also a very favorable training vowel. I'll tell you why. A um, helps us to shape our embouchure, okay? How I shape my tongue, teeth, lips, jaw is the embouchure. This is my embouchure, okay? And a good embouchure has a lot of upper teeth, a lot of upper teeth and bite to it like this, okay? Training through an A vowel, hey, may, has the benefit of, of helping beginner students learn how to lift their upper lip and expose their canines, expose their teeth, okay? Until you practice it a lot, it's not a natural thing and it's sort of funky and confusing for beginners, all right? So we train a lot of A in this studio and a lot of A in the workouts in this book and the online course that I offer um, because I know that a lot of beginners are gonna buy my product and I want them to succeed. So instead of training E, U, or some weird vowel, I uh, want my students training A. So releasing from the N that's giving us uh, balance between the compression and the respiration into an A vowel, which is giving us a great embouchure, okay, is the intended benefits of a nay, nay, nay. Any coach or, or, or teacher that has you doing nay, 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 doing that workout, they should know that. They should know that information and they should be able to explain that back to you, okay? Because when you know that, when they know that, when the whole team understands that nasals balance compression and respiration and then the A vowel helps you with the embouchure, you're gonna be teaching better and you're gonna be learning better, okay? So that's what the nay, nay, nay workout uh, can do for you. Now, I don't do nay, nay, nay in here mainly because it's weak. Um, there might be a little bit of benefit from it, probably is a little bit of benefit. Uh, um, it's, it's, I, I, you could use it for warming up. It's kind of a light warm up idea. But the way it's used is so weak in activating the musculature for head voice singing that you'll never, you'll never build the musculature that you need 
to sing in the head voice and bridge to passaggio consistently in a convincing way that sounds big, boomy, and chesty by only training light, delicate, bouncy nay nay nays. It's just not gonna happen. So those of you that have been doing nay nay nays forever and you don't feel like you're bridging your vocal break and getting beefy and chesty in the head voice yet and it's been forever, um, it's never gonna happen for you, okay? Because although nay nay nay, as I explained, has some nice light benefits to it, it's, it's well intended, has good intentions, it's, it's a training formula, N into an A, it's a training formula that makes sense it's not executed with enough strength to give you lasting improvement and lasting results, all right? Now, the other thing about the nay, nay, nay is when you look at the formula, an N into an A, in TVS, we have a name for that. We call them integrated training routines because we understand the phonetics in, in singing, we understand the benefits of the consonants and the benefits of the vowels. Um, we're able to put them into formulas and create training formulas that are designed to, to specifically go after your vocal problems. All right? We have an onset, a technique in the book and the course that capitalizes on the nasal that releases into the A. What I'm saying to you is we do a, a technique that we call track and release onset. This is a track and release onset. Nay. Sound familiar? It's pretty much almost the same thing as the nay, nay, nay. But in TVS, we do it in a way that builds more musculature. We get more out of it. We get more out of this N into the A combination. All right. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Um, I encourage you to learn why you're training certain workouts. Don't just blindly do stuff that somebody tells you to do. Learn why you're doing it learn about what the benefits are. Um, and um, I offer you an opportunity to do just that with our book and our course.